morning beautiful people how are you doing today so i'm almost done with my theory studies in class and uh, almost beginning my clinical studies right now uh, almost beginning my practicals so for that to happen i need to get my vaccinations up to date i had done all the vaccination but i lost the cards so today i was asked to avail myself at the polyclinic so that i can get the vaccines but anyway it's good uh, if you ever get these vaccines keep your records because i did not know i would ever need them in future other than that i have one exam today that i need to do or sit for that's a uh, research and methodology so after that i'll update you on what is going to happen next if i'll get my vaccination or not and uh, i'm here to know which uh, <coughs> polyclinic you'll be going to and uh, i hope you guys will stay around let's go through this together thank you today i'm rocking my black outfit and i know i'm gonna get in trouble with some people some of my colleagues they normally ask Kari, why are you wearing black and it's too hot <laughs> Feel for the pulse first, please. Where are you feeling for the pulse? As I said earlier, we're about to begin our experience, and tomorrow we're having our first public interaction. So we'll be checking their blood pressure, glucose levels, and uh, advising them accordingly. You feel it? So where you feel it, then you're putting your arrow. I thought maybe I don't. That would be done at uh, Sky Mode. So this is me checking my blood pressure and I was found that to be pre-hypertensive. Mm -hmm. I had several questions why to collab led to this. Right. Because uh, I do work out every day. For those who know me, I'm a man who takes his exercise program very serious. Uh -huh. I don't uh, use a lot of salt and also have no family history of uh, hypertension. And the previous day, yesterday, I had taken uh, vaccines. Maybe my immune system is still processing the vaccine. But otherwise, tomorrow I have to do another reading. And if they're still up, I need to do something, either take medication or improve my lifestyle. I should have took it when you made that call. As I had earlier told you that uh, we are supposed to begin our experience at uh, the polyclinics. So our lecturer came to class with the sphigo manometer and uh, I decided to check my blood pressure and we found out that uh, I was pre-hypertensive. At my age, I don't think, I don't see what could be the cause. As I said, maybe the vaccines I took yesterday. Pray for me. So guys, it's another beautiful day. We are here at school and uh, we are going to, I think it's Sky Mall. That's where we'll begin our experience. So, as usual, I have to take you along. Plug along. I told you I'll update you about uh, my blood pressures today. And I hope uh, there'll be some improvement. And if my BPs are still high, then I should uh, look at uh, my exercise program and also my diet. It's time for us to fit some new lab coats and to be honest I was so disappointed and it's like uh, the designer just took some bed sheet and folded them into lab coats. If you're the designer that was given the lab coat tender and you're watching this video, you can do better than that. So we 
we're going to Sky Mall yeah. to get everything set and other students will join us later. All right, guys, off we go. Let's meet at Sky Mall. After about uh, 20 minutes drive, you're already on site. You're arranging everything up in order to, for us to start. So we have some booklets, some pens, and bracelets for the public. So in case uh, anyone is interested in uh, getting one, we give them for free. And also checking the blood pressure or glucose levels, or blood glucose levels is free. So with time, we'll be doing more things like uh, checking cholesterol levels and uh, checking BMI. So this is the start. You can have all of me for today. And I have everything. Show me the way. That is it for today, guys. So I had to take my second reading of the blood pressure and it was normal. So that's why it's important to have two readings.
Which one?